Um, so in this case, we're looking for now, instead of doing the inverse first, Danny, could you move back over there, please? So instead of here doing the inverse of the function, now what we're simply going to be doing is we're going to take the tangent of pi over 4. So again, ladies and gentlemen, you could look at pi over 4 as the same thing as a 45, 45, 90 triangle and find the tangent. Or you could look at pi over 4, which represents 45 degrees. Tangent is the y over x. What do we say the tangent of pi over 4 is? Yeah, it's 1. So now we have arc cosine, which is the same thing as sine inverse, of 1. Right? Um, now remember sine, or sorry, cosine of theta. Remember I talked about the constraints of sine and tangent? It has to be between negative pi halves and pi halves, right? You can basically, I like to visualize it just like this. That's for sine and tangent negative pi halves less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to pi halves. Right? For cosine, the constraint is between 0 and pi. These are the two constraints that I discussed last class period. These are the two constraints that I discussed last class period. Cosine has a constraint of 0 and pi. Tangent is the constraint of negative pi halves and pi halves. Yes? OK. Again, this is saying tangent of pi over 4. So tangent pi over 4 is the same thing as what? What is tan pi over 4 is the same as what degree angle? 45. Huh? 45. So you have a 45 degree triangle, right? Who cares what the side lengths are? You know that a 45 degree triangle has those side lengths, right? Sure. Here's 45 degrees. Who cares if it's on the unit circle or not? What is the tangent of 45 degrees? One. X over X, which equals 1. It doesn't matter if it's on the unit circle or not. On the unit circle, the 45 degree triangle looks like this. The hypotenuse is 1. To go from the sh um, short leg to the hypotenuse, you multiply by square root of 2. To go from the hypotenuse to the short leg, you divide by the square root of 2. And therefore, on the, on the um, unit triangle, unit circle, here's what the 45, 45 looks like. Right? Because the hypotenuse has to be 1. So again, that's 45 degrees, or pi over 4. So what is the tangent of pi over 4? It's square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. Does that make sense? That's exactly the same number. It's just fractions. So that goes to 1, right? Or what's the other definition of tangent? When you have an angle on the unit circle, it's y over x, right? What is that coordinate point? Since we made the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 triangle have 1, it has its coordinate point on the unit circle. So the x coordinate is square root of 2 over 2. The y coordinate is square root of 2 over 2. So the tangent, which is y over x, would equal? 1. Does that make sense why that is? OK. So the tangent of your angle is your opposite over your adjacent. So create a triangle if you need to, right? If you don't know what to do, just create your own triangle. Figure out what is the tangent. However, I want you guys to start making that transition to understanding the unit circle, understanding how those um, special right triangles are on the unit circle. So then we have cosine of 1. When is cosine equal to 1? Remember, cosine, um, again, cosine represents the x-coordinate, right? Cosine of an angle is equal to the x-coordinate. Well, think about it, ladies and gentlemen. When is cosine going to equal 1? What angle? 45. Well, I'll give you two options, guys. A or B? B. So if here's your initial side, and here's going to be your end terminal side, how far did you move? 0. 0. 